So I'm working on an application that's very date driven. Uh, whenever a user signs up, they are created a default state within the application that's applicable to the current, the previous and the next month. So today is October 31st for me, which gives me a unique opportunity to test my application given a real time scenario. So what I want my application to do is for me, since I'm in Eastern time zone and it's still October 31st, I want my application for me whenever I sign up to create a default state for October, September, and November. However, if we go over to Eastern Asia where it's already November, if a user were to sign up over there, I would want my application to create a default state for November, October, and December, since it's already November for them. And then I would have a cron job set up from there to automatically take care of creating future months for the user from there on. So given the scenario, if we were to just use datetime.now throughout our backend, uh, that's just going to be basing things off of the server's current time. Uh, so what I have going on here for my front end is I'm setting a header called time zone onto my Axios default header. So it's gonna be provided with every Axios request that's sent. And I'm plucking that from the international date time format so that it's actually sent up with the user's request. So if we actually take a look at one of the check calls that I have here, and we take a look at the request headers, you'll see time zone, America, New York, which is the Eastern time zone. So if I were to sign up here, test user one, and we take a look. So my default budget is for October, since it's still October for me. And if we take a look at the database here, we'll verify that we are indeed getting a default state for October, September, and November. If I nuke my database, reset all of the migrations, and we come back into the application, and let's say I set the time zone to an Eastern Asia time zone here, where it's already November, we give this a save. And if we sign up with this, what I would want is for the default view and for the default months to be November, October, and December. So here, let's do test user one again, this time set in an Eastern Asian time zone. What I would want is for November, October and December to be created with the default view to be November since it's already November for that user. However, that's not currently happening. So what we need to do is take this time zone that's provided within the header and within the back end, what we need to do is have some kind of middleware. So here I have a pluck middleware set up that's going to pluck the time zone header off of the request. It will default to UTC if it can't be found, which is the server's time and it will create a lux and date time based off of that. I commented this out for demonstration purposes for this video. So then it would set the time zone to that user's time zone. It would plop a lux and date time object onto the HTTP context along with the time zone in case I need it later on as well. So now since that's on the HTTP context, I have that available throughout the remainder of my request lifecycle. And then this pluck time zone middleware is registered just after the body parser middleware within my kernel. So since this is a global middleware, it's going to run for every request that's sent. And then if we take a look at the default budget, I'm trying to grab the year and the month off of the route parameters. However, if that can't be found, what I was doing previously is just doing a date time now, which is going to use the server's date time instead of the user. That's not what I want. So what I now have is I'm plucking the date time that I'm setting via my pluck time zone middleware out of my HTTP context and now referencing that user's year and that user's month using that date time object. So now if we give this a save and if I nuke my database again, which I've just done and I sign up for a user again, this time still within that Eastern Asian time zone where it's already November. If I sign up again, what we should now have happen is our default budget will be in November, which there we go, it is. And if we verify within the database, what I should now see is that the user now has a November, October, and December default state. So now everything's working just as I want it to. So anywhere that I need the data to be pulled based off of where the user's located, instead of referencing datetime.now, and creating a new Luxon object based off of the server's time zone, I can now use this date time object that's on my HTTP context to grab the user's actual time and month 
so that I can pull data applicable to where that user is. Um, and then if we take a look at where I'm creating that default budget, again, I'm just referencing it off of the HTTP context. In this state, I'm in a service that has the HTTP context available off of the instance of the service. So I'm doing this ctx.datetime to get the current date. So that then creates the current month, the previous month, and then the next month. So since Luxon is immutable, it's not going to mutate whenever I do a minus or a plus or alter the date in any way. Instead, it will just return back a new instance of the object. So we don't need to worry about our HTTP context date time changing at any point in time. So that's it. I just kind of wanted to show, I felt like this was a unique point in time to be able to record this video to actually visibly show uh, what's going on here. So 